Hey everybody, Ben here from the Bono Podcast and welcome to Orc Starting Rosters. We are looking at all the teams for Blood Bowl 2020 and we are considering just what you can afford for 1 million. So if you're planning on starting your league soon using Season 2 rules, we'll find out just what you can afford. Uh, we're assuming that you start in a 1 million uh, value league and um, we're not going to go too much into skills you take or developments because we quite frankly don't know quite how the SPP system is going to going to work out uh, but what we do know is how much you can fit into a team with a million gold pieces but before we get started we'll have a look at the key changes to the orc roster there's only a couple the first one is kind of a good one so black orcs are now movement five uh, and they're also not black orcs anymore they're uh, they're big uns yeah big and blockers bubs they got changed to bubs and they got boosted to movement five which is a huge movement difference they do cost 10k more which makes the list quite it makes the list harder to build um so orcs got a bit of a nerf in that regard but the black orc blockers being faster is a significant improvement uh, rich saxby and good guy lewis had a game between themselves earlier this week humans versus orcs and they said that one of the biggest takeaways they got is that the bubs being movement five um felt really really good felt a really solid boost so that's nice to bear in mind another little tiny boost is that the throwers went down 5k so not enough to actually make a difference uh, given that everything else is in chunks of 10k but it's a nice little incentive to be able to take that thrower because um, a lot of all coaches undenied in fact we'll see that in our list the other thing is that now orcs have animosity now they all have animosity for different things so you're gonna have to be um be careful now on animosity only obviously fails on a one and with the orc guys it will only fail some of the time as in they will only be applicable some of the time have a look at the roster for that some players basically can't hand off to some other players without taking an animosity uh, test it is very themey so orcs like in fighting they like to be the best the, the biggest the best so it does kind of make sense it is just it feels like a bit of an unnecessary um nerf and i think it's going to get forgotten quite a lot. But onwards to the lists. And we said about thrower or no thrower, and this is the no thrower build. So you can take four blitzers, four bubs, two linemen, three rerolls. You are now 10k short of being able to take a third orc lineman. So you're faced with a choice of do you start with two rerolls? So four blitzers, four, blub, uh, four blitzers, four bubs three linemen and two re-rolls or do you drop one lineman down to a goblin you've got four strength four armor nine blockers you've got four strength four armor nine blockers uh, armor nine players who are actually blockers but don't come with block so you've got four and eight combat ready people you've got two linemen with armor nine you can you can afford to have a goblin with armor seven and stunty that strength two is going to be a pain however the ability to have stunty and dodge does give an element of speed and at movement six they are the fastest player on the team apart from the blitzers so if this is league you can save up 50k for another lineman you can save up 65k to get a thrower you're starting out here with a huge amount of combat advantage blitzers are going to level up real quick the bubs are going to level up real quick and you're going to end up with eight eight <laughs> mighty melee players um, and you can just fill out your team the other way around is to drop that third reroll take for example a thrower um, but then you're going to be saving up 120 to get that third reroll rather than just one game to get the positional or two games to get the positional you want let's have a look at that roster and here we've got the thrower build so to afford the thrower while retaining those three rerolls that we do recommend for league build you have to lose either a blitzer or a bub i recommend losing the blitzer and the reason for that is they're cheaper they're only 80k a piece but the thrower kind of acts as that other mobile ball carrying place so the bubs with their strength are probably just slightly more advantageous um, you can get block real quick you can't get strength especially in the new system you have to save up 18 spp to be even able to roll for a stat increase so i think if you've got a choice of three blitzers or three black 
three big ones, three blockers, blockers. Uh, you take the four blockers because you get strength. You can backfill with a block piece later. And to be quite honest with you, when your bubs start getting block, they're going to be doing more damage than the blitzers anyway. Your blitzers are normally your movement, like your mobile pieces. Three of them is not bad. Like, they are armor nine. They've got block. They're strength three. They are resilient players. They will be able to protect your thrower. And that thrower starting with a slightly better pass stat and sure hands and pass is going to mean they're pretty useful. So this is not a bad roster. If you want the four and four, you don't get the thrower, you get a goblin instead. If you're happy to sacrifice a blitzer for the first couple of games or a black orc, or a big one, this is the one that I would recommend. But orcs can take a troll, so uh, we will get asked immediately, what about the troll build? So you can take a thrower, you cannot take a thrower. You can also take a mix of stuff with a troll and a goblin, so if you want that throw teammate element, you can do it. So this roster you've got three rerolls, a goblin, a troll. Hence the name of the team. Two linemen, one thrower for that sure hands, because what you want to be able to do is still manoeuvre, still sure hands the ball, and actually being able to uh, manoeuvre the thrower to get the ball to pass it off to the goblin if you want to go for that throw teammate. This is the tricky part, though, is whether you go for four blitzers, four bubs. I think the cash gets a little tight, um, but you can obviously... There's a bit of flex in that. On this one... It's a more mobile roster, but you've got the strength five of the troll. So you can you can compensate for not having all four of the big ones. But that is negotiable because the blitzers are 80k and the bubs are 90. You do have the flexibility there to shuffle things around. And if you want a more black orc heavy build, you can do so, but you might have to drop another lineman down to an orc, uh, to a goblin or lose the thrower and take a lineman. I personally do like the Orc Thrower. I think Sure Hands comes in handy, and soon enough they end up with Block, and you end up with a fifth Blitzer. So, if you want to be doing Throw Teammate, or you just want to have a Troll on the team, you can run it like this. You've got Throw, you've got the Thrower, you've got four Blitzers. Come on, guys, four Blitzers is not bad. Four Blitzers and two Strength Four pieces. This team will still mince through most other teams. Um, and it also has a bit of speed in the Goblin and a, post and a potential throw teammate. We also got asked what star players the Orc team now has. So they don't actually have very many. So they can take Helmet Wolf at 140k. He's the chainsaw guy. They can take the Black Gobbo, which gives you an extra foul action as long as he does it. Orcs can take Goblins, so they can have a reasonable foul game. But when you're starting out, you don't want to be fouling. If you're behind 225k, uh, for inducements, you don't necessarily want to be fouling around. Grack and Crumbleberry for 250k is, however, definitely uh, worth considering. And the reason I say that is you get a Strength 5 player and another and a Strength 2 player. So the Strength 2 player is garbage, but it's another player to have there, and it does give you throw team element, a throw teammate element if you're going for the thrower no, or no thrower build. You can take Varag, who is a bit of a beast at 280, or you can go 340 for Morg. Orcs tend not to lose a lot of TV. You can suffer a couple of injuries. It's normally the thrower that gets hurt, um, but you're never really going to be that far down. But if you're playing up in a, in a league situation, 250 for Grack and Crumblebury isn't bad, although I would be possibly inclined to go for a wizard um, or something else instead to just allow your team to do what it's trying to do. But Grack will support you with that. So that wraps it up for Orc rosters. I know there's more variations, but really we wanted to just cover the three core ones. And you can juggle the gold around uh, and, and kind of tailor them to, to your fancy. So if, if you want a thrower, if you don't want a thrower, if you want a troll. Those are basically your three main choices for Orcs. I'm pro thrower. I think you'll be able to score those touchdowns get the extra blitzer in two games maybe three games and in that time you've got seven other combat players and that sure hands piece is just going to help you out anyway thanks very much for watching let us know what you thought of the roster and drop a message in the comments below to let us know what team you want us to do next and uh, i will see you tomorrow